Hello everyone, welcome to Dress My Craft. This is designer Jeshri this side. In today's tutorial, I am going to be using the Cute Critters beautiful pattern paper pack, motif sheets and transform me sheet to create a 3D layout. This layout is based on a mushroom house which is one of the most prominent element from this paper pack. But before we begin, please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. Now to begin with I have here 12 by 12 paper pack out of which I have chosen this beautiful pattern paper. I have already adhered it on a chipboard to give it more stability. I also have with me a traced and fussy cut out template for a mushroom house. I have deconstructed this mushroom house using my scissors and also traced it on a different pattern paper and cut it out again. I have created three pieces out of it so that I can create dimension and give height to all the three pieces making a three dimensional layout. I am starting by priming my pattern paper with some clear gesso. I am also going to prime my three pieces of mushroom house with clear gesso. Now once they have dried out I am using some texture paste and mixing it with some distress paints in the color a scattered straw and antique linen to give it a nice mixed yellowish kind of a tone and I'm using the weave stencil from Dress My Craft. It's a mixed media stencil and applying the paste through it to give my base paper a nice textured background. I'm also applying the remaining paste on top of my three mushroom house pieces just to add a little bit more texture to them. I'm not using the stencil for this. I'm just randomly applying it with my palette knife. Now moving on once the paste dries I'm taking a black marker and outlining all my mushroom house pieces and creating the design of the house so that it looks realistic. Once I have that, it's time to construct the layout along with the house. To give dimension, I'm adhering chipboard pieces behind each piece of my mushroom house and adhering it with hot glue in the place I require. I'm adding one layer of chipboard on the base of the mushroom, two layers of the chipboard on the top of the mushroom with the chimney and three layers of chipboard on the door part of the mushroom house. Once this is done, it's time to add the fussy cut out elements and create a layout. I have fussy cut out this flower bunch from one of the pattern papers and I'm going to adhere it using my double sided foam tape again to give it a little bit more dimension and make it look peeking out and so that we can add a little bit more elements behind it. Once that is done, I am also adding one of the fussy cutout element with this cute critter from one of the pattern papers again and adhering it on the right side of the paper. Now I have fussy cutout elements from the motif sheet. These are very beautiful and different sizes of elements. 
I'm trying to place them here and there so that all my embellishments come together and form a beautiful composition. I'm using the cute critters. I'm using the mushrooms, the flowers, everything that I can get hand on and it makes my layout more beautiful and more layered. Since it's a dimensional layout, it is very important to have many many layers so that it looks even more realistic when seen from far away or as close as possible. To keep on adding dimension, I am adding chipboard behind my elements. You can also use your double sided foam tip in case you don't want to use a chipboard. Once I'm satisfied with my composition, I'm using here a transfer me sheet from the Cute Critters collection kit. I have fussy cut out some elements that I want to stick. I'm going to be applying the flowers on top of my mushroom. A pile of cute critters on the left side of the mushroom. And while I was fussy cutting out the pile of the cute critters, there was a little bit of script that was cut out and left over, which I'm going to use on the bottom of my mushroom house. I'm taking off the film, I'm peeling off the film from the transfer me sheets and sticking these transfer me sheets directly on my paper without soaking them in water. I am going to spray some water on top of these to make them wet and for them to work. And it's time for magic now. So now you can see me peeling off the backing of the transfer me and see how beautifully and quickly it comes off. And it's just so beautiful. I love these transfer me sheets. These are so magical and so beautiful. And they look and they look so blended in. It's effortless. And you can use these transfer me sheets on any project. Once this is done and dried, make sure your transfer me dries before you move on to the next step. So once these are dried, I am going to adhere some flowers on top of the mushroom to give it a little bit more element and design and of course dimension. I am using some distressed bandage behind my flowers and I am going to also use foliage and leaves die set number 12 from Dress My Craft. I have die cut them on black cardstock and I am going to trim them off as per the requirement and adhere them behind my flowers and little bit around the composition that we have created using our fussy cut elements as well. Now moving on, I have found that the door on the mushroom house seems a little bit out of place. So I decided to add another cute little critter in front of it. Again, I'm using my chipboard behind it so that it gives a little bit more dimension to it. Once the composition is done, I am going to add some splatters. I am using black gesso, diluted black gesso and adding some uh, splatters on the top and around the mushroom house. Once the splatters dry out completely, I am using some art stones in regular and mega size along with some flower pearls in the color snow white and golden from dress my craft to add on the base as well as on the mushroom to give it a little bit more dimension and little bit more element.
hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and are inspired to make your own variations of mushroom houses using this beautiful cute critters collection kit and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel before you go until next time happy crafting bye bye